Hi, well, as you can see, the scenery has changed immensely since you last saw me. Um, we're back home and I'm now starting to go through my videos and my photos. We have loads, um, both hubby and I like photography, so we've both taken photographs and I took my GoPro for its first ever time out. So let's see how we get on with that. Um, Today's video is all around the journey then from Warwickshire up to Skye. As I said, it took 12 hours. It was a 4 a.m. start, woo, very good. Uh, but it was worth it. And I would say if you really want to go and see Scotland, do it, it is, it is absolutely stunning. When you do your journey, I'll see you've got the M6, um, and you've got that sort of corridor, you go past the lakes, and yes, the lakes is very beautiful, but you're not close enough to get a sort of good scenery at that point. And I'll be honest, I fell asleep up until then, um, only actually woke up as we were going through the lake, so haven't got much footage of that at all, in fact, any. Um, we have got a stop off point, which was the Colombo um, Memorial, and that's just by Ben Nevis, and that was just by accident actually that we were driving past and my husband realised that he'd seen a photograph of his mother many years ago on an old slide um, in that position. So we went back and had a quick photo session there. Um, and then we headed straight up um, to just before the bridge at Skye and um, to a beautiful castle. It was called, and I've got to check this right now, it's Eileen Donnan Castle and it's just literally before the bridge so it's perfect to stop um, and we have the two dogs with us and you'll see them on our journey as well um, especially Lola who sits in the back seat my father's in the boot that's just where they prefer to be um, and Lola loves watching everything that's going on I wish I could actually get her on video and tell you what she saw it'd be amazing um, so yes yeah, so we stopped off there we couldn't go in the castle because we've having two dogs you can't take dogs in um, but it didn't matter because we had a really good walk round. it was a beautiful sunny day as was most of our trip to Scotland I have to say and um, we got some really good videos and some good photos then take you over the bridge into sky that was quite exciting um because you almost feel like you're there um but then for us there's another hour and a half journey from um the bridge to our cottage and i'll take you through some snippets of some of the scenery that we saw on route and then finally when we do get to our cottage so this is literally my journey to the isle of sky um what we saw it, it gives you a taste of it you do have to experience it and you have to see it um, and the wow factor. You'll see a little snippet as well where we did have a massive downpour of rain. Um, that was just sort of by Loch Lomond and I'd never been to Loch Lomond before. I was driving sadly so I didn't get many shots and my husband who was in the passenger seat was useless at getting the GoPro out until sort of the very end. Um, but then when we did switch driving seats at the castle, then hopefully I've tried to capture as much as I can without boring you. So stay tuned to this. Um, please subscribe to my channel because I'm going to do the whole week that we were there and show you what we did, what we saw, um, and you know, just to get you um, to think of going to Sky and see what you think yourself. So sit back, enjoy the videos and the photographs and say subscribe to my channel and keep watching to see what we do later on okay have fun <laughs> 